Hello everybody, and today, uh, this is actually a video for Georgia 551's, uh, Minecraft server. As you can see, I have a few worlds here, but today, just for George, so I can join his awesome server, which is the real tough city server, something like that. Um, sorry George, I do not know the exact name, but I do know it's named after your productions on YouTube and stuff, called Real Tough. That's, uh, real with an O. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you, um, my single-player world. I know I misspelled that, but I was too lazy to change it. You know what, I'll go ahead and change it right now. There we go. So, let's go ahead and enter it. Now, here, I'm gonna give you a view of what I've been building. Bit stuffy. I've been sick a little while. Now, where, what side is my house on? I think it's there. It is down there. Now, up here it looks like just a simple stone structure, but you're gonna like it when you get to the bottom. And I would try to do a an epic jump from the top and land my uh, little farm, but I'm not much of a farmer, so the water is probably disintegrated. I haven't been on this um, world for a few days. So yeah, this is my house. I think it turned out pretty nicely, but yeah, that's the... I would jump off from there and try to land in here, but as you can see, my uh, experience points have gone down. I had like 18 before I tried that. So this is my mine shack. Oh, I got nine iron in there. I gotta take that out. Uh, I got two furnaces and a crafting table in here, and I use this for my starter chest because it, it just seems to help me better when I start a new survival world. Uh, I got some stuff in here that I've been too lazy to move out. Uh, stuff in here. Oh, nothing in there yet. But I'll show you my cave system. I gotta repair this thing if I can ever find some more diamonds. Now you are probably seeing what's going on here, but that was just an accident. And it turned out to be pretty cool when I decided to keep it. Uh, nothing in here yet. This is where I'll put all my stuff that I need to mine before I go in and have this little one when I'm entering. In case I want to smelt anything, cook anything in case I get hungry. Which I have set it to, um peaceful mode right now but because I don't want to encounter any baddies. Is Georgia five five one a cool YouTuber I know calls them at least I think that's what you call them George, right? But yeah. So this is my cave. I have a couple of connecting tunnels that I'm needing to extend and I always forget to check the ceiling so I've probably been walking around tons of iron and gold and stuff, but as you can see here, I found a couple of pieces of gold. I want to check something. Okay. You're know, probably wondering what I just did there. It's, um, let's try that again. Well, earlier, it was raining in my world. Oh, cave noise. And, uh, the rain was black. And this fire effect was black as well, but uh, it didn't really bother me. Now I'm going to show you a tour of my house, George, because I know it's a creative server, but I'm just showing you that I'm a pretty avid Minecraft player. It's a long way up, I know. Oh, and down here is my... Oh, now, note that this is all legit. I can have cheats, but I barely use them, and I don't use them for, like, spawning in, like, 30 diamonds, and I probably never will. Yeah, this is my nether room. I don't like to go in there, because currently the portal is messed up, and when I go in there, it transports me to, uh, the world in which I built a second portal inside there, and it just doesn't let me go back home, so I'll have to fix that soon. However, I can. If anyone knows how to, please let me know. And it is night time, and I only... Honestly, sometimes when I'm just trying to work through the night and I don't like to sleep, I uh, turn it on peaceful at night sometimes. But this is um, this is like a storage room. 
I don't really know why I put this here. Like nice quartz slabs acting as long stairs, which I think turned out nicely. And back here is the lighting source, which uh, I think is pretty cool. I mean, saves all the ugly use for torches. And in here, I don't know what I'm going to use for that, but as you can see, I put a cecia, if I'm pronouncing that correct, dark oak and oak logs, pretty much all the wood logs, other brick, oh, no, it's other brick, wall, and flowers, etc. I don't have anything in any of these chests just yet. Spruce and birch logs. I have some cobble, which I'm going to probably use soon, which you can probably tell that I used some of it when I was building this thing, which I'll show you in a minute, but I bet you've been wondering what's inside my house. Um, this is for when I turn on the baddies. Close the door behind me, so I don't have to like turn around like, eh. but I got an ender chest here. And this is enemy drops, I haven't gotten that much. And quick craft, so I can just jump in my house, or if I'm leaving to go adventuring, I can just easily get it. And I really like how my kitchen turned out. This isn't really quite functional, this cauldron, but once I get my brewing stand up and running, I'll probably have a use for it or something, I don't know. And here's my food chest, which is low on food. Oh, wait, I can put those apples in there. I'll probably sort that into the chest as well. Crafting bench. And I got all these chests full of crap. A bunch of dirt from when I was flattening this land. There's like a humongous hill, and I just thought it would be the perfect place to build because I didn't want to extend very far. And I put a brick here. This I created this doorway like 10 minutes ago because I was tired of having to go in there and go through here and to get it to all my storage when really this isn't there isn't really a need for me to enter this room from the kitchen but I just prefer to even though I have these two chests which once they're full I probably wouldn't need to gather any more food anyway but you know it's just for handiness uh, this is also legit I found my eight diamonds in my cave when it was brand new and discovered repair a name now I did name something quite cool and kind of funny, and I'll show it to you. It's got a little bit of humor into it. And yeah, got a couple things in here, block of coal, gold that I've never really been able to... Oh, and this, I don't know how this got here. I did go into creative and for some reason I ended up with two ender chests, which, you know, I'm actually going to... Um, I'm just going to hold on to those, just in case I need them later. But, yes, that's the only thing I did cheat into this world. Got some flowers. Yeah, the living room wasn't that much of a priority for me. Even though I am a builder and I like to build these things, but it's just really not necessary, I thought. And as you can see here, I have a brick in a item frame, but you're probably wondering why. This is what I call the lucky brick. Don't really know why it's so lucky, but you know, I don't even take it out of the item frame to carry it around as the lucky brick. I just like to keep it in there for something to put over this table. I'll probably put like a uh, flower pot right here. I don't know. And you can probably see and tell that this is my bedroom. Go ahead and sleep. You're probably noticing that. Okay, uh, that was a nice rest. Uh, dysfunctional blocks, known as the bookcase, the enemies that dare to mess with Jack. Uh, I didn't actually kill the wither, so I've been lying to you guys a little bit, but sorry about that. But it's just, I thought it'd be a cool decoration. But And I got the creeper, which I did actually collect from killing a creeper. And I didn't really know any reason to put that Z in the E, easy, but it just slipped out. Now, imagine I'm sitting here on this dysfunctional couch, and pretend it's nighttime outside, I see, been reading a nice book, or having just ideas come into head, and I think, I don't want to walk through my hallway and into my room. Now, I've kind of already ruined it, but as you can see, I can just hop through this painting and sleep in my bed. So, yeah, this is, um... Oh, and also, here's my attic. 
got a hair in my mouth. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. If anyone has an idea to what to do with this, I could probably make that wish come true. I know I've been stretching this out, but I really wanted you, Georgia551, and whoever else sees this tour to really like it. And you probably saw that at the beginning of the video when I was heading up there. Oh, it's not a dirt block. I gotta go destroy that later. Got some nice rose bushes. Birch forest, which is very handy because I love the birch wood. As you can see, I pretty much kind of already started, you know, chopping down some trees over there. like how this bridge turned out. And I'm probably going to make like a little shack right here to house all the woods that I forget to put in. Uh, <coughs> yeah. And I'll... Uh, Oh, uh, that's, um, that's a sign. I was originally making this into a server, but I decided to, um, rethink that. Since I found, um, an awesome, an awesome server hosting website, where I can get a private vanilla server for only two fifty a month, which is pretty good. If you go to Vintage Beef's channel and check out his, um, his channel art, it'll have a link in the description showing exactly where you can find the website. And right here is my tree farm, which I don't seem to have any saplings on me currently. Probably in the house somewhere. But yeah, you plant your sapling. It is a little hard to mine all the wood, because sometimes I'll have to put that and mine that. And you eventually get tall trees. Sometimes they like to sneak out on you and like the last wood blocks right here, and then the leaves are all around. But most of the time this works and gets me some tall trees so I don't have to worry about going. Because I'll just go like maybe I could probably go to that tree right there and then get turned around and probably never be able to find my way back. Which I learned the hard way, but I did manage to get back after several intense minutes of trying to get back. <laughs> but yeah, this is my um randomness of tower with a dirt block hanging on the edge. And I thought about putting like a secret hatch about right here, maybe to a basement, but I really don't know why. I haven't uh, managed to do that yet, but yeah, I like how these flowers are up against the window, like how I was next to a flower forest. I spawned in like the perfect biome, just pretty much the plains biome, I guess you could call it. I spawned about up on that little structure right there and I pretty much built this shack in like the first 10 minutes after I gathered some resources pretty much made this a successful home with an anvil and a bed here and a chest here and two chest double chests here and made it kind of a successful home but then I thought you know what we need to move we need to get a better house a better structure to live in so that's why I built this house I don't really have a name for what you could um, call this if you ever managed to build it, which I sadly don't have a tutorial. But it's a pretty simple structure. And I like it. It gives me a good place to live. But I guess that'll be it.